Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, governments all around the world at the, at the moment are really struggling to make sure that their people have jobs, and it is a crucial part of any government job that people that there is employment and enough employment. And so schemes, work, work schemes sound great, but in this instance I'm really, really concerned that actually people are being messed around by bad policies. Virtually everything is in the motion, it, it's self-explanatory, but the failures of the work programme are, are actually extremely well known, and there's some figures in here that you just, just can't ignore. And we have a duty of care to people to make sure that they're actually being helped into employment and not just used as slave labour. Now, back in May to, uh, 2011, the Mayor seemed to recognise this, and his advisor, Neil Cohen, he wrote to our Economy Committee, promising to, and I quote, establish an effective performance management framework for the work programme in London, to find out how effective the work programme is in moving London's long-term unemployed back into work. But when I asked the Mayor about the performance <coughs> management framework last July, he told me it had been dropped. And he'd also planned to benchmark work program providers using a star system rating that had actually been developed by the London Skills and Employment Observatory that the LDA used to weed out companies and charities that weren't performing. But again, this was dropped. So the first call in this motion is to the mayor that he should bring back his own plans, his own promises to ensure that Londoners aren't messed around on any work program. My second concern is that the Mayor wants to take away young people's social security if they don't take up his work experience. Now, forcing people to work in return for their social security has been called work fair. And the Mayor says this is only fair. I disagree. He says it will help them. I disagree. And he says it's work. And I disagree. I think it's slavery. He's got to make the scheme voluntary. It absolutely has to be through people's choice. Um, the, mayor's, uh, the, the government's own evidence casts doubt on, this, uh, on whether or not this actually works. Um, the mayor's policy and the wider work programme sanction people who refuse to take up opportunities, and they sanction it by taking away social security. Yet the government's own research has found that these sanctions don't help. To quote one example, its latest evaluation of workfare found that Staff in provider and job centre plus offices question the value and effectiveness of sanctions for some groups. Moreover, the participant interviews suggest that most are complying with the conditions of the programme and most do so without the threat or applications of sanctions. And similar research by the Social Security Advisory Committee found that sanctions can even be harmful. They asked why the work opportunities weren't voluntary and found that Mandatory work activity is regarded as a punishment rather than an opportunity to learn and develop new, new behaviours and new skills. Now, when he announced his pilot, the mayor said, it's a tough labour market out there, and nobody is going to disagree with that. But the government researched, um, co co commissioned some research in 2008 looking at similar workfare programmes around the world and found that workfare is the least effective in getting people into jobs in weak labour markets where unemployment is high, which is what we have here. The Mayor wants us to believe that any work experience will open the door to a new career. But one story that's, um, that I've heard is a man with 13 years' experience of managing clubs, nightclubs. He was sent to move around furniture in a British Heart Foundation shop. Now, you cannot describe this as helping him further his career. The Mayor told me in November that most reasonable people will think that this policy is a good and sensible idea. I actually think that most reasonable people will look at the evidence and think it's a good and sensible idea to make his pilot voluntary and to allow participants to choose work experience opportunities that actually benefit their careers and their lives. I urge you to support this motion. Yeah.